Let us have some basic idea about GCP Web Console. We can use GCP Web Console for managing Google Cloud infrastructure. Here I am highlighting some of them. We can provision virtual machines, we can deploy applications, we can also build the applications using existing out-of-the-box services. I will not be focusing on these two at this time because for this section we are primarily interested in provisioning virtual machines. With respect to provisioning virtual machines or reviewing the existing virtual machines, you can go to the Web Console of GCP, click on this sandwich icon which will open up this sidebar. Then you can go to Compute Engine and you can actually click on VM Instances. It will take you to the dashboard of the VM Instances. At this time I have 6 virtual machines, all of them are in stopped state. I will go through these details at a later point in time, but this is where we will be spending uh, a bit of time with respect to this section in the pursuit of provisioning the virtual machines. We should also know how to get billing details. You can go to the billing section and should be able to review the credits. If you are using $300 credit and if you want to see how they are being used at this time, you can click on this and you should be able to go to the billing and you can actually see the billing details. For you, it will directly take you to the billing details. For me, it is actually asking to link to my billing account. Don't worry too much about it at this time. You can actually spend some time on billing alone so that you understand the costs of GCP. But this is how you can actually go to the billing. It is very important for you to understand this. For this section in the subsequent topics, we will be primarily focusing on this provision virtual machine, stop and start virtual machine and also we will understand how to configure firewall rules for the virtual machine created so that we can access the services that are deployed on top of the virtual machine. That means we will be primarily focusing on the compute engine and VM instances where we will be going to, to provision the virtual machine and also to manage the virtual machines as it is being used. So that being said, as we signed up for the GCP and also as we understood the GCP web console up to an extent, let's look into the GCP pricing.